Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. AV Comparatives have once again posted their latest malware protection test results for the month of September 2022. And when I did post my last video um, regarding AV Comparatives, when they did their real world protection test on the um, consumer antivirus products, um, Defender, as I mentioned in that video, failed to keep up with a vast AVG and Avara. And I'll leave a link in the description to that video in case that might be of interest. Now, just before we have a more in-depth look at these test results, just to give you a quick background in case you're unaware as to how these tests were conducted, AV Comparative said that they used 10,019 malware samples in this test. All products were installed on a fully up-to-date 64-bit Microsoft Windows 10 system, and um, all the products that were tested were tested using their default settings and also their latest updates. So that's just a, a background into how the test was actually conducted. Now, for the second time in the last six months, AV Comparatives is now saying that when it comes to its offline detection rate, Microsoft Defender isn't faring too well in that department. And once again, if we just compare it again, as an example, against a vast AVG and Avara who have got over 93% uh, detection rate when it comes to offline threats, um, Microsoft Defender not doing too well in that department at 69.8. And then also with its false alarms, its false positives, 19, it isn't doing too well there either, which isn't a good thing. Now, most of these antivirus products um, are reliant on their cloud technologies to detect threats because here we can see that um, for the offline detection rate, that's when they are not reliant on cloud technologies to help detect threats. Their percentages for most of these products are a lot lower compared to online detection rate when they are using the cloud and their cloud technologies to help detect threats. So just showing that most of the antivirus products and solutions are dependent on the their cloud technologies to help um, fight and protect you against malware. Now, um, just to give you a quick um, comparison, um, detection versus protection. Um, according to AV Comparatives, they say that uh, the detection rate is um, the ability of that security product, that antivirus product, to detect a malicious program before the file is executed, before that malware is executed. And the protection rate um, is the ability to prevent a malicious program from actually making any changes to the system. So that's the difference between the detection rate and the protection rate. And when it comes to the protection rate, um, Microsoft Defender 99.99%. So compared to a vast 100% AVG, 100% GData, 100% um, McAfee, 100%, Microsoft Defender 99.99%. It's I think it's doing quite well when it comes to its online protection rate. And then when it comes to its online detection rate, 98.1%. Now, and um, if we just head over to the next screenshot provided by AV comparatives. Um, here we can see um, the total online protection rates that are uh, clustered into groups. So you've got cluster one, group one, two, three, and four. And if we just zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a lot better in the video, when it comes to um, as the samples that were used, 10,019 samples of malware were used in this test, Microsoft Defender um, compromised one. One was compromised, it failed to detect one. So it only detected 10,018, giving it a protection rate of 99.99%, which still puts it into the first cluster. And then in the second cluster, we have Panda and ESET not doing too well. Surprised to see malware bots uh, in the third cluster with 19 compromised. And if we look here at the bottom, Trend Micro once again not doing too well, 259 threats compromise. So Trend Micro not doing too well when it comes to detecting threats. Now, and just to have a quick look, just to sum this all up at their last little screenshot and chart provided, um, here is their different um, categories. Um, Advanced Plus, all these products fall into that category, so they did the best. Then um, when it comes to Advanced, we have ESET and Microsoft. So Microsoft basically in the second group, not too bad but still in the second group and in second place. Standard, K7, and then tested uh, in the last group, not doing very well. Malwarebytes, Panda, and Trend Micro once again. And they say that 
these products um, got a lower got lower awards due to false alarms. And as mentioned, Microsoft had 19 false alarms. That's most probably why it landed up in second place. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.